All right, uh, let's see if this becomes the last episode of the Banner Saga, or if it turns out that this game just never ends and we have 2,000 more episodes. No, not really, but... Anyways. Uh, here in Boar's Guard, we have some special silver that we need to do something with. Or make, make an arrow with, I should say. We suddenly have a big amount of people and basically everyone's injured. Eric is back. That's actually kind of cool. Hakon is good. Iver is injured. That is not good. Who is this Gris person? Do not know. Was Eric good? Do not remember. We'll see. But I'm guessing we can't really get anyone uninjured, so it is what it is. Crafters! It takes a while, but you finally find someone willing to craft an arrow for you. He eyes you suspiciously when you show him the silver, but shakes his head and gets started. Alette watches, the smith's fire reflecting in her distant stare. I talked with Avind a long time while you were gone. He told me a lot about Juno. Is she really as powerful as he said? Certainly seems that way. It was hard to tell. Maybe too powerful. It was hard to tell. In any case, I'd rather have two menders here than one, but... Dad, I think I know what's going to happen now. An arrow? She's going to make you shoot Bellover, isn't Bellower, isn't she? I don't know for sure. Come on, who else is going to do it? Iver? Alette, I know where this is going. You're afraid of me dying. This isn't like before. We can't run this time. That's not what I... Let me do it. What? That's not an option. I'll think about it. What? Why not? Because you think I'll get hurt? What do you do when Bellower comes straight for the person holding the only thing that can destroy him? Let me speak. Everything's changed. Schoolgirl feels so long ago. I'm not asking because I'm afraid of losing you. I'm not. I'm not afraid of anything anymore. Let me do it because you know I'm a better shot. I have a better chance of puncturing his armor. We only have one shot. I'm not a child anymore. I'm not just some girl. I'm your daughter. I can do this. For once, let me decide what happens to me. Okay, so here we choose. Is it Rook or Alette that shoots the arrow? And it has slightly more consequences than that. Um, sure. Uh, no, but... Um, okay, so basically here... Okay. I don't know if this is like spoiler or not, because technically I'm not supposed to know this either, but I do, so... Um... Basically, it has consequences, who you choose. Let's put it like that. Question is... Who do I want... To do this? I thought I'd made up my mind like two weeks ago, <laughs> I was gonna say, or like whenever I figured it out, but yeah, okay, here we go. I'll do my original, original decision. I know you can do it, take the arrow. She smiles and takes your hand in hers. We'll survive this, I know we will. You sit by her side silently until the smith finishes his work. Hello? There he is. June is in the middle of an animated debate as you approach, the arrow in your hand. There's little time left. Bellower knows we're here. Whether he is- w oh, sorry. Whether he is waiting for more of his forces to arrive, or simply wants us to starve- wants to starve us out first, I cannot tell. But he will not expect a direct attack. Is this a joke? How are we going to do that? I will take a handful of warriors to face him. I can keep a small group hidden from sight. The rest of you will lead the charge from here. With luck, Bellower will send his armies away from himself to meet you. 
What about the ravens? They may protest. They will not. I have arranged a task for them. Even if you make it to Bellower, what chance is there of defeating him? We saw what happened in Eina Toft. The thing can't be killed. Juno shows them the arrow you had forged from the Godstone Silver. This will make him bleed like the rest of us. Once he is pierced, he will be vulnerable. She looks you in the eyes. We only have one. Do not miss. And bring only those you absolutely need. I will take. It will take all my concentration to keep the other dredge from swallowing us up. I cannot join in battle. And if we kill Bellower, then what? The dredge will just wander away? That is my belief, yes. I can't say for certain. This is a doomed plan. Help us hold out here until the ships are finished. And then what? Bellower will hound our every step, all the way to Arborum, where I am certain more Sundara await. Now is the time to speak to loved ones and the memory of any god that pleases you. Rest. In the morning, we slay the Sunder. Oh, and then I we click Bellower. Um, cool. I guess. Um. Okay, I will actually promote. Oh, I can actually promote again. Well, depends. Oh, everyone is rested! Yes! Oh yeah, Aleth has to be here, does she? Yeah, she does. Ugh. Oh yeah, apparently you can get an item from... Like, uh, some other item from, um, some really good item from going do the silver thing of a bob, but I didn't get it. I guess if you try to get more, take more of it, maybe you got some, you got some, like, good item or something like that, but yeah. Um. Mogit. What item does he have? Plus three will per rest. Yeah, um, amaze beans. Whatever this does, sure. Um. Ugh, I let. All right, fine. Promote you again. He doesn't actually have any item. What is this? Plus one strength resist. Sure. Uh, yeah. I think this looks okay. Funny enough, I saw someone's writes about Ursa somewhere and was like, oh, I don't know if you can, like, keep Ursa alive. Maybe it's on another game, but, like, it sounded like, yeah, Ursa's gonna die, whatever you do. And, yes, she's still here, so I don't know what I did. <laughs> or it's, like, in the next game or something. But, yeah, apparently you, I could have had Iagi left, I could have had G Gun... whatever, sorry, whatever that Varl's name was, could have had him. Um, not sure if we could have, other, have uh, had other people, but, yeah. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah, Elvin this... No, he's here. Hmm, do I want Elvin? Basically, I don't want Alette, because... No, she no good. I want Elvin instead. Though I'm not sure... Oh yeah, because he does a, so much armor damage. I understand why Alette is here, but I'm just like, no. <laughs> Not Alette. And I mean, I want Odd Life because <laughs> Odd Life. <sighs> I 
and I want all the borrow and I guess I don't care that much about Rook technically he hasn't been doing anything super special fine ironically I'm not bringing Rook with me but okay I guess they're letting me The silence is what you remember. You rise in silence and walk through empty streets. Upon the wall, two ar armies stand quietly watching each other. Your footsteps echo on the wooded floorboards as you approach Juno. She breaks the silence. It's time, Juno says. Gather your allies. Today one thing will end, another will begin, and our actions will decide on which side we stand. Ah, uh, yes. I can guarantee you I'm gonna lose this battle. Wee Yep, pretty sure. Uh cool. Still your fear. Listen, I will try to guide you. I mean that's good. No, stop! Oh, Rook is here anyways? Yeah. I knew it! You can't s change the- <laughs> I knew it. Oh, even it's not here. Okay, well, that that's, that's just how it is. Alright. Ugh. Why do I have to have her? The arrow cannot be used until his armor is broken! Oh yeah, we have to break his armor completely or something like that. I'm guessing. Dead. Wee. Ouch. You cannot use the arrow until there's no chance of missing. Yes, yes, yes. that although you did put it like on your friggin master I was gonna say so that's cool not be allowed to do a lot of damage. Ouch. 
But yeah, that is not good. You must break through his armor. Yes, we know. We are aware of his armor. There we go. Yes, there we go. Sadly, one of mine took damage too, but yeah. They damaged their own! Ta-da! Protected. Alright. So I guess it has to be... the right person doing it, basically. Okay, I'm gonna take these two out. Or we have to kill everyone around him first, I don't know. Steal your courage, you need only slay Bellower. Oh yeah, he has extra protection there, I guess. Oh. Alright. Uh Alet, no. Oh. As the holder of the silver arrow falls, so does any hope of de defeating Bellower. Everything you worked for so hard, gone in an instant. Oh, that's true. You have failed. What do you want to do? Uh, return to the last checkpoint. Huh. That is very true. Especially since Alette sucks. Alright. Okay, I'm not gonna show this battle anymore because I probably have to do it like 5,000 times. So, woohoo. Okay, I've gotten it to this. I'm just- because when he has five health, every attack you do only takes one, no matter how strong it is. And then every time it's his turn, he regains one armor and goes up to five health, or he regains five health or whatever. So now it's zero armor and one health, so we should go down now. Ah! Ish. What? Oh, because Alette has to do it? Oh! Freaking. It's not gonna. <sighs> Never mind. Okay, maybe now. Because it's Alette's turn. Kill him! Okay, I seriously don't understand what the problem is! I'm sorry, I'm screaming. Okay, well, I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I have to kill everything else first. Okay. Well, that strategy doesn't work at least, so... I guess I'll be back with... Something else. Oh, I get what I'm doing wrong now. Alette needs to use her special ability Silver Arrow, otherwise this will never work. Uh, if he has 8 health points or less, Alette can do this and you win the fight! So I don't have to sit here and have all my people die. You'd, you'd think I would realize that sooner, but no. Here, Silver Arrow. Kaboosh. I thought the game would do it automatically for me, I don't know. Alright, finally. Basically, I could have been done a long time ago, but... You have to get him down to zero armor... Eight or less health, and then you use silver arrow, apparently. Or, like, low health, no armor, then you can use silver arrow, so. Alette, no! Please help her! Haste, Rook! Finish Bellower now! Oh, everyone's back. Up. Cool. Uh, sure. Bellower's wounded! End this! I don't think Rook should be standing on his own there, but... Well... It is what it is now.
So yeah, this is the next part of this battle. Which I'm guessing is really about, yeah, again, focus technically on on Bellower, but yeah. What? No! And this now! Yes, yes, we are trying, I promise. <laughs> Stun, skipping turn. You are not good. This is not good. He lashes out for every blow he takes. Okay. Oh, I was like, who am I even controlling? <laughs> Shots really for for Bellower, but well, I guess really. Seriously, I want these other ones gone. <laughs> Good for me. There, I'll take as much armor as I can before I die. There. Hurry, they're becoming hard to control. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Stop that. Ouch. Okay, well, uh, we're gonna die, so that's nice. Or lose, whatever. Yep. Yeah, no, we're gonna lose hard. Actually, these people are doing a lot of damage now, but, well. Really, just plus one. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. I was like, I can't do anything. Oh. Alette! No! Not her! Wh where are the menders? Rook. She is beyond their help. Stand up. You're only barely aware of the surrounding chaos as Dredge flee from wa var of warriors who push their advantage. Bellower is dead. You are not. We must go. Let me carry Alette to Borsgard. We'll honor her properly. So as you have figured out now, the one the, the person who shoots the silver arrow dies. So you basically get to choose if Rook or Alette dies. Those are like the two ending sort of of the game and all everything else that like carries over to Banner Saga 2 but yeah Juno was right with Bellower fallen the dredge flee the field of battle you return to Borsgard but have almost no memory of doing so aside from image 
of Alette's still body being carried in Eva's arms. I don't think there are any more battles now, but still. So yeah, I chose to get to Alette because I haven't used her or whatever and stuff like that, so. So we should have the time we need to finish the ships. I think you're right. The dredge don't seem interested in us anymore. Since Belwer fell, they've been going their own way. The ravens have been keeping the docks clear. Juno's talking to them about something now. When those longships are ready, we'll be able to sail all the way, all the way to Arborang. With luck, before the darkness shows up here. How far south has it spread? I couldn't say. Hopefully not far. We'll get the prince back to his home, and Hawkon has already decided to come with us. There's not much else to go back to. <clears throat> the two look up as you approach. Rook, it's time. Soon we'll be ready to leave Borsgard. Find somewhere safe. One ship is done already. At the docks. I had it prepared. I had it prepared. It. I had it prepared. It for Alette. Yeah, I had it prepared for Alette. I'm not ready to see this. Come, Rook. It's time to honor your daughter. Wait, you're gonna send her out in a burning ship like she's a king or something? Holy shit! And that's the end of the Banner Saga 1!
So apparently you can actually scroll in this. Wee! Thank you all the backers who made this game possible. There were too many names for us to watch. Yes, normal difficulty. Thank you. Got two achievements. I'm apparently a diplomat and we did it on normal difficulty. Yeah, there we go. Cool. What is this heraldry thing? Search crests by backer email. Oh, everyone gets their own crest. Backers. Okay, no, I don't even know what that is. Misk. Pebbles. Okay, I have no idea what this is. Cool. Something backer related. Um, but yeah. So that is the Banner Saga one. And of course you can make lots of different choices. You can have... Um, some more people survive, you can have people, more people die, um, you can have Rook die instead of Alette at the end, and a couple other things I'm guessing that will have an impact and carry over to when you play the next, well, number two and number three, basically. That's, that's the whole point, right? That it, everything you, like, well, everything, but things, certain things that you do carry over to the next game and stuff. So from what I understand, the ending here, if you choose Rook, depending on if you choose Rook or Alette, the other one is going to continue leading the caravan in number two. That's also kind of why I choose chose. Well, first of all, I don't honestly don't care that much about Alette. Um, Rook has already been leading them for a long time, and as much as I would love to see, like, oh, Alette, uh, I don't know, girl power, she's leading the caravan and stuff like that. Oldleif has already said that she can't because they won't follow a woman, right? And a couple people also, I mean, the subjective, but a couple people were like, oh, I think that, like, the story of Rook leading and, like, dealing with losing his child is more interesting than, like, Alette, Alette's, uh, like, trying to be a leader. And again, like, if they wouldn't follow Oddleif, why are they going to follow Alette? <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but seriously. Um, whatever, so keep it with Rook um, if we ever get to number two of course but yeah um, but yeah that was this game um, yeah pretty cool I see why people like it and you know replayability by you know making different choices and stuff like that um, so yeah I hope you all enjoyed it as well thank you all very much for watching and sharing this game with me and hope to see you for some other adventures so take care of yourselves and bye bye